In this video, we're walking you through how to set up the portal. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through the setup process so you can set up your portal and get it just how you want it. The first thing you need to do is just hit the next button after selecting your language. So English for us. Next. It will ask you to connect to your home Wi-Fi network. So find your Wi-Fi network on this page here. You're gonna then uh, tap on it and then enter your password. Once you enter the password, you're just gonna hit the check mark to submit it. Once you're connected, hit next. Hit continue. And it will check for any updates on the software. And if there are any updates, they will download and install. The first time we set this up, it did take about 10 to 15 minutes for it to do all the updates. So uh, if you see it has an update, go take a break, come back in a little while to check on the progress. But I wouldn't suggest you sit there because the updates do take time to uh, download and install. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set up the portal by creating our account and connecting with our friends and family. So we're gonna hit next. Terms and condition information here, continue. So uh, next you will need to name your portal. Now, uh, typically people will name the portal depending on what room it's in. So if it's in your living room, kitchen, dining room, that's usually, these are just generic names you can do. I like to do a custom name because it does move around to different rooms of the house. So I named my portal Floater. So. That's if you want a custom name. If not, just select one of these and you'll be good to go. Let's hit next. All right, so next we will need to sign into our accounts. So you'll sign into your Facebook account or your WhatsApp account to bring all the information together. Portal really works the best when you have it linked to an account. I've actually never tried to set it up without an account. And actually, uh, as you can see, it won't even allow you to move forward from this step if you haven't signed into either your Facebook or your WhatsApp. So we're gonna go ahead and sign into our Facebook by checking that box and hitting next. I have WhatsApp, but I almost never use it, so it really wouldn't be relevant in this case. You have uh, this security measure to link up your Facebook account with the portal. And what they're asking you to do is to go on your mobile phone, go to facebook.com slash device and enter this, um, this um, code here. And that will allow you to link uh, the account with the portal. Um, if you don't have your mobile phone handy or a computer handy, another easy way is to use your Facebook login information. So I can hit use Facebook password instead. And then on this screen, I would enter either the email address or the phone number I use with Facebook and the password to link my account with the portal. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that now. Once you have entered in your Facebook email address and password, it will then uh, show the account to make sure you have uh, the right account and this is the right account. So we're gonna hit next. Now on this page, you will have the option to add favorites. So anyone that you call often or you message often, you can set them as a favorite. Obviously I have them all blurred out just because I don't want their information to be over the web, but um, you can easily just tap on one of these little bubbles of any one of these people that are a favorite contact for you and they will always show up on the portal home screen. You can also just do a swipe up to see other people that might be on your list of potential favorites. Um, we're gonna hit next. You can also choose to hide contacts. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. This is a pretty cool page here. It's just explaining how the camera on the portal works. So you do have the camera right here and the camera has smart tracking 
So it always looks for a face and when it sees a face, it will zoom in to that face. Or if uh, it sees multiple faces, it will actually zoom out so you can get everyone in the shot. So the camera on the portal is on a wide angle lens, which allows you to get a lot of people in the shot at the same time. So um, really cool. If you hit try it now, you can see a demo and it will basically follow your face. So you can see how it works. For the sake of the video, we're gonna move forward, but you're welcome to hit try it to see how it works for you. So next you can link the portal with your music accounts. So if you have Pandora or Spotify, you can hit connect uh, right here and you can sign in with your account information and you can have Pandora as an option on the home screen to pull up all the playlists that you use on Pandora and easily access them and play them through your portal. One awesome thing about the portal is that the speaker on this thing is super loud. So for music purposes, it is awesome. So for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna link up my Pandora or Spotify account for now, but if you wanna link yours, just simply tap connect and then follow the prompts. Let's hit next. So this next feature, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, it's basically giving Portal permission to display your Facebook photos on the Portal machine. And it basically turns your Portal into a um, digital photo frame. So it's really cool. It will go through all your posts and it will just uh, show different pictures that you've posted on your account over the years. You can also link your smartphone with your Portal frame so any pictures that you take on your phone, you can have them automatically moved into the portal to show on the uh, little slideshow. So it's a really cool feature. I haven't gone as far as downloading the portal app to sync up the pictures on my phone with the portal, but uh, it's really easy to do. You just download the uh, portal app, just go into your app store, download it, link up your account, and then you'll be able to send photos from your phone to the photo frame as well. So. There's that. Let's go ahead and hit not now. I'm gonna do it later. Use your portal as a digital assistant. So things like when you're cooking, you can ask it to uh, set a timer for you. You can say, hey Alexa, set a timer for this many minutes. Mm -hmm. Or you can ask it to set uh, a timer for when your food is coming out of the oven. Or you can have it set an alarm tomorrow because you wanna get up early. Or you can have it to Google things for you. You can even have it control your other um, devices that are linked with Alexa. So we'll hit connect, and then it will ask you to go to this website, amazon.com slash code, and enter this code, or you can enter your login information, email address, and password for your Amazon account, and then that will link them together. I'm gonna hit not now, just for the sake of time. So next it's showing you how to communicate with Portal um, with your voice. So you can simply just say, hey Portal, and you can say call this person or text this person or uh, show me this. And it works as a uh, digital assistant, similar to how Alexa works. And that's it guys. Our Portal is officially set up and ready for us to use. You can hit now, explore home, and it will show us the home screen here. And it's showing you, you have some options here to add your favorite contacts. And we got this little tour of some other different things. So how to get to different screens, your photo frame, turning off the camera and the microphone and accessing your contacts. So the next thing I wanna show you is at the very top here, you do have your privacy switch. So all the way to the left means that the camera is actually blocked and the microphone is fully turned off. If you turn to the middle, it means that the camera is still blocked right here, but the microphone is now on so you can ask it to do things for you. And all the way to the right means that your camera is now uh, unblocked and your microphone is on and listening. So uh, depending on how you want to use the portal and when you want to use it, will determine uh, how you use this switch. I normally like to block the camera unless I know I'm gonna video call someone and then I will unblock it. I tend to video call in the morning with family. So again, I'll just unblock it for that time and then I'll block it back afterward. I do keep the 
uh, microphone enabled because I do like to use the voice assistant sometimes to play music with Pandora or set timers or Google things like checking the weather. So I like to keep the microphone on. So this has been how to set up the portal. Specifically in the video, this is the portal mini, but basically it'll. this is the same setup for just about all the portal devices. Uh, we hope you guys found this video helpful. We have a follow-up video, which is the portal mini. We have a follow-up video, which is how to use the portal for beginners. And in that video, we walk you through how to navigate the interface. So all the other things you can do after it's set up, uh, apps you can download, how to go on the internet, how to watch videos, how to watch YouTube. There's all these other cool things you can do and we're gonna show you in the other video. So um, check out that video. You should see it at the very end. And hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave a comment if the video was helpful, let us know. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Like the video as well. Uh, take care and as always, have a good one.